Happy New Year! Welcome back friends! After a long break I gonna start making my new series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorial 2022. Hope you will stay with me and learn SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling. Today we gonna create a connecting rod by using SOLIDWORKS 2020. By watching this tutorial, you will learn the use of sketch tools, like circle, line, smart dimension, mirror, trim, slot, etc. You will also learn the use of feature tool. Like extrude and extrude cut. Hope you will stay connected with us and continue learning advanced part modeling by SOLIDWORKS. We will use two sketches, one extrude, and one extrude commands for completing this SOLIDWORKS connecting rod modeling tutorial. We gonna sketch the top view of the part, and extrude it. Then we will finish the connecting rod 3D modeling by doing another sketch, and extrude cut. Hope you will learn with fun and stay connected with us by simply subscribing my channel. Let's start. Click on new part. Go to apply scene and select plain white. For selecting material go to edit material and choose your desired material. First, we gonna sketch the top view of this part. Left click on the top plane and select sketch. Take midpoint line command and draw lines like me. Make sure they are perpendicular with each other. Control select and convert for construction. Here the distance is 100 mm. Take Smart Dimension command. This distance is 47 mm. Now we will draw these circles. Now we will draw these circles. Now we will draw slots. Inner circle diameter is 15 mm. Radius of the circle is 12 mm, so diameter is 24 mm. Slot radius is 5 mm. This length is 36 mm. This distance is 22.2 mm. The width of the slot is 18 mm. Diameter of the circle is 41.7 mm.
Radius of the arc is 26.9 mm, so diameter is 53.8 mm. Now we will use offset command. Select this line, and make sure bi-directional is checked. Offset distance is 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8 mm. Take line command and draw line like me. Now we will draw this arc. So, take circle command and draw a circle like this. Diameter is 53.8 mm. Control select and make them tangent. Make them tangent. Now we will draw this arc. Radius is 24 mm, so diameter is 48 mm. Control select and make them tangent. Make them tangent. Now we will trim all unwanted lines. Sorry. Undo. Let's check the issue. There has no intersecting point. Undo. Delete this relation. Make them tangent. Now trim all unwanted lines. Perfect. Let's draw this arc. Radius is 30 millimeters, so diameter is 60 millimeters. Make them tangent. Same here. Trim unwanted lines. Now we need to use mirror command. Select these entities. Mirror about this axis. Hide the relation symbols for a clear look.
One more arc still required. Radius is 26.9 mm. Make them tangent. Make them tangent. Mirror this arc. Clean up the sketch by trimming. Now we have to fully define the sketch. Use the dimension. No, it's not required. Use the dimension. Make them tangent. Make them tangent. OK, let's do extrude the sketch. Go to Feature menu and select Extrude. Extrude height is 15 mm. Now we will make these holes. Left click on the surface and select sketch. Draw a circle. Diameter is 10 mm. Make these points vertical. Make the center of the circle and the midpoint of the line horizontal. Sketch is fully defined. Go to Feature menu and select Extrude Cut. Select Through All. Press spacebar of the keyboard and select ISO metric view. Congratulations! This is the part which we were trying to build. If you like the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Because, more advanced 3D CAD modeling tutorial is coming.